What's up everyone? It is your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're finally gonna get into my Glaminatrix Cosmetics Nocturnal palette. So I'm super excited that this showed up in my doorstep. I think it showed up um Saturday or Monday. I want to say Saturday though because uh no, I'm sorry, it was Monday because today is Wednesday and I brought packed it up Tuesday to bring here Wednesday morning. But this is what the palette looks like. I showed you all the unicorn and here is all of the stunning shades that come in here. So I have palettes to compare to of course because I'm me and I own 532 million palettes. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside but we're going to get into comparing the palettes before we actually talk about all of um, before we actually um, get into a look, y'all know I like to do them at the beginning to like save time and that way if that's what you want to see then you can see some comparisons you don't have to like watch the whole video. And that way I'm not, you know, talking a whole lot and showing a whole lot toward the end. But here is what it is with the, what is the Sugar Peel palette, the volume 2 with the cat on it, I forgot the name of it. Um, Fun size, yeah, the fun size volume two. So this is what it looks like against the fun size volume two. I thought this would be a good companion palette. Plus, I want to see what it looks like with the color story with it. So I might be comparing these with a lot of um, palettes. I have another sugar pill palette. This is the capsule. I forgot which capsule this is. I want to say this is three, or it might be the Halloween collection one. But this is what both of them look like side by side. I feel like they look somewhat similar, but still not the same. And I feel like it'd be, again, a good companion palette because it has some brighter, fun pinks that are lagging in here. And it has some deeper blues that are lagging in here. So I feel like it'd be a good companion palette once again. So I figured I'd show it off. Why not? Next, I have the original Silent Night. Sorry, not original. The Silent Night palette that they, they came out during the holidays, which made me try the brand. Absolutely love it. I think it's stunning. Again, I feel like the blue in there might go with it along with the green. Next, I have the Arcana palette from um, Trial Cosmetics. This is what both of them look like side by side. I'm trying to get through it quickly because my battery is about to die. And I'm like, I don't want to have to put another one in just to show the comparisons before I go to bed. Next, we have Heather Austin's palette with the depth alongside this one. I feel like this one was one a lot of people would think would be similar. Because in my mind, that's the first palette I thought of besides um, the Arcana palette and the... um. Other one, the last one I had is from Mother, and I hope I can get to it before the battery dies because I did not erect any of these. I was not prepared at all. Okay, so I have Mothership 3 and this one. Oh, thank God we made it. So this will be a good compare palette as well. A comparison palette as well, or a mashup palette. Anyway, let me go off camera get my eyes on it. If you're curious, with my eyes now. This is Dose's Colors Daisy palette. I mean, are we really surprised at what I did? There was blue and green and purple in the palette. I couldn't control myself. Um, but I took the shade. Um, so I took makes out of cool, fun mattes and shimmers I wanted to try. So we took these four down here and these three up here to create the eye look that you see on my eye right now. So I started off with the shade Nightfall. That's this one right here. I put that in the crease. Then we put the Periwinkle shade, which is, what is it? obscurity in the crease then we put the shade murky on the lower lash line in the, in the corner we put night vision in the inner corner on top of murky we put witching hour on the outer v of course and then we have dusk and luna on the lid so now we're gonna start off with night ball. and i just pat it up here at the top just to see how the pigmentation is going to be i well, thing is i will say i feel like it fades away and not you know very well or the pigmentation doesn't last from when you initially put it on i'm hoping it's just because i put that bright shade down so i feel like it just doesn't look as pigmented because i have that bright periwinkle in the crease but honestly i think it's just it you know pigmentation didn't last when i put it on even though i put it on a white base this is the glam light icing base but as you can see it's blended out quite nicely it starts off quite pigmented, which I was shocked about because because of my skin tone, I didn't think it's gonna you know, show up too well. And the fact that it is bravo on Matrix Bravo. So you'll probably see this video Friday. I don't know, I know Thursday you're gonna see get a bonus video because I usually upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I might be testing out some new product from this lady named Huda Beauty today, which is why I'm not you know necessarily 
I mean, why well, I'm gonna have an extra video that might, you know, that might have something to do with it. Now I'm gonna take obscurity and start patting it into the crease. So I started literally patting this one just because I wanted to kind of carve out the crease on my eye with it. Plus, I want this one to be super pigmented so I could have a good idea of where I needed to put it back at when I cut the crease with glitter glue like, you know, I normally have to. So that's why I'm patting it first and then now I'm going to blend it out with circuit motions because I know it's going to get covered up by glitter glue. But you see what I'm saying now about how it doesn't look like it's hardly there now compared to like the periwinkle shade, but I'm hoping it's just because the periwinkle shade is there. That's what I meant earlier. So now we're going to go into shade Wishing Hour, which is that dark purple, which is weird because when you pick it up on a brush, it doesn't look like a dark purple to me. And when you put it on the eye, I feel like it doesn't look like a dark purple. Like To me, it looks like a weird, like, I guess, brownish, purplish shade, not just completely purple. Because in the pan, to me, it looks eggplant purple, but I don't know, on the brush, it didn't look that way. But then again, it could just because the brush has used so many other colors before, and like the full pigmentation of those colors didn't go up, and that's why it didn't look that way to me. Because putting it on this eye, it looks that way, but putting it on this eye, to me, it didn't. If that made any sense, what I just said. Sometimes I wonder myself. Um, I'm going back in with the chemical shade just a little bit right back here and add any extra on I'm going to try to blend out what's already in the brush for the back of the eye I'm going to take a little bit more of Nightfall, now that I am going to get back into that was the um, original fairy brush shade we used I'm just going to dust them a little bit on the back and on the front here I do have my cleaning brush we're going to go in with in a few minutes so give me a minute so let's take it now and in here now the dust shade is like super like i was saying it's like i cut off i don't know where i got cut off but i'm going to put some glitter glue on now so i'm going to take this brush and use my bh glitter glue and cut the crease the dust shade is really um what do you call it it's uh, that's what i was saying i'm saying this shade dusk is really that creamy like i put my brush in just to tap it in like i normally would with a shimmer and like it picked up a whole like clump of the product and I had to like press it back in there so that one is super creamy but it's weird though because the shade Luna I don't feel like is that creamy and I feel like it's a little bit difficult to pick up on the brush so I found that interesting anyway but check the shade dust now and you have to dip into a softly because girl like a whole, I'm telling you a whole clump came up and I was like oh that that's what we're doing here I don't want you to do all that honey but look at how stunning that is like and it's a gorgeous dual girl so I'm here for it. I'm in love. I'm happy. I'm just glad mine didn't break because I know um, my girl, Dr. Ash, and her makeup, when she posted her video up, I think it was like last week, she was talking about how hers broke and I was like, oh. I'm like, I'm hoping mine didn't come shattered because I'm not the type of woman to fix it. I'm going to just be a mad bitch. <laughs> I said, the fact that my palette's broke, I'm not going to try to salvage it anyway. But. I know Glaminatrix from personal experience is excellent with their customer service. If something goes wrong or something happens and they take excellent feedback as we all know because as soon as we told them, hey, with the brown people up with these swatches, ma'am, she got on and she found some brown people. So I love brands like that who actually listen to their customers instead of ignoring them and hoping that, you know, they'll buy in spite of them not giving them what they asked for. So shout out to her for doing that. She has the swatches up of her new palette coming out called Nearly Nude Already Now. We're taking the shade Lunar now and putting it toward the front. But yeah, she already has swatches of that palette going up. And she did swatches of someone of a tan skin tone first. So the girl she posted um, lives in the same place as she does. And she's of more tan skin tone. And she has already posted all the matte and shimmer swatches for or I think a good portion of them for that palette. So I'm just, as you can see, blending these two together and they actually went together quite nicely, which I was kind of shocked about. Now we're gonna go into the shade Murky. Like I told y'all, I put Murky in the inner corner first and then I just put the green shimmer on top of it. Building up the matte shade right there. Now we're gonna put the shade Night Vision in. That's the green shimmery shade that matches this pretty nicely. 
and I just thought it was like a nice little amplifier for underneath there. I mean, I'm sure it didn't need it because their shadows always just do amazing things and don't need help. But you know, I was like, it's here, we're here. Y'all know how I am. Everyone's here and available, so we're just we're just gonna go ahead and do it. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm just rubbing murky on these other side here, just trying to get them even. Take a little bit more on the brush, but right underneath where the um, wing is, and on this side, I'm just trying to make it even because there's like a little gap right here. So I'm trying to clean up the gap. Now we're gonna take the clean brush, dust underneath here, dust on top of both the eyes. I will do my mascara and eyeliner off camera to save us some time. But let's talk about this palette. So. Was it worth the wait? Yes and no. Okay, so I knew the quality was gonna be good, and it was. I knew the shimmers were gonna be amazing, and they are. I knew the mattes were gonna be nice, and they are. It's just, um, I'm not excited. The two shades I was most excited about, like one of them is exceptionally soft, this one right here, Dusk, and then Luna is, I feel like it's kind of hard compared to Dusk, but when like I can pick up a whole clump when I put up my brush to use it, then you know, this one being a normal shimmer is gonna be harder. I'll swatch some of the other ones, I, I'll swatch a couple of the other shimmers. Okay, so this shade Fog seems like it's really soft too, that's why I lightly press into it because I wasn't sure. And the shade Milky Way, it's a little soft too, but it's not as soft as that one was. And night, okay, so Nightfall and Luna seem like they're pressed harder in the pan than um, Milky Way and what is it, Milky Way Constellation and Dust. So that's the thing. Oh, so which one is that? Milky Way actually has a um, a kind of bluish purple shift to it as well. So I guess I should be glad I didn't put that in the corner because when you look at it, it looks pink, but it gives off a different shift. So okay, and this is Night um, Vision. This is Milky Way, and this one right here is Constellation. So, okay. Anyway, um, I really like the palette. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I waited for so long, and I guess I want to be like super wild. And although I do really like it, I'm just not like super wild. But yes, it was worth the wait. Yes, it's worth the price. If you want to try it, I definitely think you should. But just be prepared to wait that's my only thing that's the only thing about this brand because you know how it is every 20 minutes somebody coming out with a new eyeshadow palette so although she sneak peeked this for a while but like i waited so long to get it and i'm just kind of like oh okay i got it now i made this nice eye look but you know just like on to the next thing now especially since this thing took a while to get to me so i mean like if there's any way she can get things done faster or not sneak peek them so soon I feel like that would help her just because you know she sneak peeked it a long time ago and then people had to wait like for so long till now it's like I don't even know if y'all gonna care about this video once it goes up because we had to wait so long for it to get to me but that that's my only real thing otherwise everything is great like it always is when it comes to her brand so those are my thoughts um I hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds I'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye